This week I tried to make an EDF afterburner, and it kind of worked. To make things clear, this is not a jet engine. This is an afterburner for an EDF, so all it's really doing is producing a pretty flame out the back of the engine. In order for this to work, I have to produce a stable flame front inside the turbulent flow out the back of an EDF, which is harder than it sounds. But let's just jump straight in. First things first, I need to cut some pieces of steel pipe. Next, I need to find a drill. This drill is almost certainly older than me. Unlike the previous jet engine, this piece of steel pipe is going to be used as a flame tube, which means I have to drill holes in it. In the past I used this as a nozzle, but a flame tube allows the gas to pass out through the holes or draw oxygen in. And I'm trying to make an afterburner, so that's exactly what I need it for. I don't have a vice, but I'm hoping that these weights will be enough to hold the steel tube in place. Yeah, I don't trust this drill at all. I managed to make a small hole, but I didn't like the way that drill sounded, so I'm going to find a different way to make the holes. Putting the holes in this tube has been way too much effort. So I'm just going to settle with the six that I have. I've run out of barbecue lighters to light my jet engine, so I'm going to be using this baton. This version works okay, the flame front is pretty stable, but I don't think it's burning very efficiently as there's no blue flame, it's all just orange and it's kind of fading away as the EDF spins up to speed. I made a lot of iterations of this in a very short amount of time, so let's just kind of skip through them. Even if I had a really powerful EDF, this rig would not move very quickly. 
The wheels on the bottom are not on bearings, so it's pretty stiff. To make it clear, I am aware that putting the battery here is quite dangerous. Just using the steel pipe allows too much gas to flow into the afterburner, which causes a region of high pressure, high pressure at the back of the jet engine. Um, this stops the EDF from pushing more air in, which actually reduces the thrust. Kind of worked. A new day, a new gas outlet. This has got a petal design that should help prevent the back pressure from pushing the air back whilst allowing the airflow to still swirl and flow over this. Hopefully this will improve the flame out the back. This is going to be a quick test of the EDF to prove that there's still air flowing out the back. This is a new concept I'm working on. I don't think the butane is burning particularly efficiently. So I want it to enter the flow earlier on and then have the flame front here so that as it flows past it ignites and that would hopefully make it look a lot better and also increase the thrust. tell how much better this version is because the steel pipe is still shiny whereas with this one it's covered in soot. The flame at the back causes a region of high pressure which actually restricts the flow of air from the EDF, which reduces the thrust. I'm not really sure how to fix this, but if you know a basic way to fix this, leave it down below in the comments because it would really help me. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.